Hi class, in this video I'm going to show you how to create symbols on your quiz documents so that you can do them as they're supposed to be done. Uh, here I am in the week two assignments. I'll scroll up for a moment just so you can see where we are. There we go, week two assignments. Uh, your dates may be different if you're in a semester other than the one in which I make this video. That's okay. Here's quiz three. I'll click on quiz three and my computer is set so that will automatically open the quiz three document. Here we go. I'll just click Enable Editing, and I'll come down here where it says give the mean amount of hours at Big State University, uh, and I will click here, and I will move to another line. I don't need number seven, so I'll just click backspace to delete that. And the easiest way to do it, if you have Word 2007 or newer, is to press the Alt key, hold down the Alt key, and then hit Equals, and I get a little equation box. And then up at the top here, I get a bunch of things, equation tools, and I want to go to the accent choice. Press the drop down arrow, and the line is right there, and I can press the left arrow and put an X, press the right arrow to get out from under the bar, and press equals 5. Uh, the answer isn't 5, but if it were, this is what you'd want to do. Uh, I hope that helps you there. But suppose that you don't have Word. Suppose you're working in some other program. Uh, you can certainly open up these documents in Google Docs or some other choices. So let's make the equation go away. And let's see how else we can do this. Let's go back to Blackboard. There's our Blackboard. Uh, we're going to go to Resources. And there's a link here uh, for Equation Editor. I will just click on Equation Editor right there. And it says type your equation in this box. So I will type my equation in this box, but what I'm going to do is get that same little accent. And it is right over here. You see there's a, a, a hat. Uh, I want the overline line over, and then I just type an X in the little box there. Hit X. And you see down here is my little X of the bar. I can type equals and then my number, or I could just leave it there. And then I'll click right here where it says download image. Uh, I usually like to right-click and save it somewhere. Um, so you could right-click this and click Save Link As. And you see, here we go. It gives you a funny little name. I might, rather than on my downloads file, I might save it to my desktop as a X bar. And then this is an image, so I click Save. Uh, and then it will download it. Okay, I'll close that little drop-down. And I will go back to my web page here, and I will click Insert, and I'll click Picture. And it's going to ask me for where my picture is. I will go to the desktop, and I'll scroll down until it finds it. X bar, there we go. Insert. And there it is. And I can type equals 5, just like I did before. It's just that now this is a picture instead of being something that I can edit within the document. Uh, you can resize it if you think that's a little bit small, make it a little bigger, although it'll be a little fuzzy, uh, but that's fine. Um, leaving it as the original size is perfectly fine as well. So I hope this gives you what you need in order to insert such symbols into your document. I think it's easiest to use alt equals, uh, but you don't have to do that. You can use this symbol. There's also an equation editor in Google Docs. Just remember to save your file as a Word document so that I can easily open it when I'm creating it. All right. Uh, enjoy your day, and I hope this was helpful.